Disclaimer. This video is only for educational purposes and not an investment or trading advice by any means. Any stock discussed is purely an academic exercise without any recommendation or commercial interest. Scientific investing as well as presenters may or may not have any investing or trading positions in the stocks discussed. During this video, we don't hold any responsibility for anyone's investing or trading losses. Please do your own due diligence or consult your financial advisor. Hello viewers, welcome to Scientific Investing and I hope you are liking our videos and in case you have not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe and you know press the bell icon so that you know you can have all the updates and uh, we have been making few videos uh, of late on fundamental and quants and we started this series called funda bytes and quants bytes and today's video is the extension of one of the videos which we made in funda bytes uh, but before that a uh, few important announcements so announcement number one, uh, when we met the last Fundabyte and uh, Quantbyte videos, uh, you requested, some of you requested for, uh, you know, the list of websites or the Python script, uh, and you have filled the form. So the access has been provided. Uh, just check your mailboxes and you will get a mail from scientific investing one at the rate gmail.com. It may go in your uh, spam folders so or do check the spam folders. Uh, we have given you access uh, on our LMS and we have created a free content kind of course so that even in future, whatever things we are going to share, uh, you will have access to all of that. So that is point number one. Point number two, uh, for the first time on YouTube, I have tried to collaborate with another YouTuber. So uh, I have my colleague Shubham who runs this uh, beautiful channel, The Logical Investor. Uh, there are a lot of good videos where you know you can go and see and i'm sure some of you must be watching both of our uh, you know channels so today we are going to put an interesting video for uh, stock analysis of a company uh, in ev space so do watch that video uh, the third announcement is uh, regarding the twitter spaces session so off late i have been doing a lot of twitter spaces session where we are you know inviting people from various fields who are you know smes in that specific area and we are trying to help as much as possible uh, to the investors. So this Sunday, that is tomorrow, uh, you know, we are going to have uh, one more colleague of mine, Himanshu, uh, who is, uh, you know, one of the best chartists, chartists I have seen. And uh, he has uh, already, you know, uh, uh, passed his CMT level one, level two. So that event uh, is uh, tomorrow, 9 p.m. Sunday on Twitter Spaces. And I'm giving you all the details uh, for all these events, whether it is the collaboration with Shubham or whether it is the Twitter Spaces session. So all the links are there on the screen and they're also in the description box. So feel free to attend. And I will, again, I will put those recordings also on the YouTube channel. And the last one is soon uh, we are, we have already uh, have our website for scientific investing ready. And we are going to have a webinar where there are a lot of interesting things coming up. So, you know, do keep a watch on my Twitter ID, which is Suru27, and do keep a watch on our community post, we'll post the updates. So now let us quickly jump to the video. And what we will do is, uh, so last video, we told you about the top 10 websites for the fundamental research, uh, but there are a few more questions to it. Uh, there is one question, if it is a bottom-up approach where, you know, I directly start with the stock, then it is easier. But what if I have a theme in mind, let's say I have a theme in mind and I don't know which are the stocks related to that theme, how to play with it. And second, even though I have given you a list of, you know, websites, the website will have thousands and thousands of pages. How do we know that what I want to search is available where, you know, in the website? So we need to be much more efficient and, you know, much more uh, pointed, focused in our research work. So today's video is going to address these two problems. So let us take an example and I will try to give you a demo how to do it. And the example, let us say, is a theme called medical device. I'm taking this name because uh, two years back, I invested in one of the medical device companies and uh, studying the medical device market in the US, I realized it is one of the best businesses to be in. But the question is, how do you know that what are the companies which are uh, related to medical devices business in India? So we will try to see that. And then let us say if we want to deep dive on medical device sector, 
uh, you know, how to do that. Because many times I've seen when we conduct webinars, you know, some of you come and say that, you know, so much of effort has been put in webinar and all. But let me tell you very honestly, uh, 70 to 80 percent of the effort in reading whatever has already been created. Uh, I think uh, our effort lies in identifying the right resource, right documents to read and identifying the best document to read. Uh, how do we do that? Of course, there are a little bit of small, small nuances and tricks. Some of you might know, some of you may not know. So I'll introduce you. Of course, there is a little intelligent way of searching and then, you know, little intelligent way of identifying those specific URLs, the website. Uh, so I will walk you through both of them and let us start. So the first question which comes to your mind is, if I have to know that uh, which are companies in medical devices segment, uh, how should we do? So let me show you and I'll tell you two ways to do it because I'm always, I'm a believer of having a back plan because what if the first, you know, first one stops working? So first thing first, I think all of us, we know what is NSC, BSC and let us go to the BSC website and I just, I want to show you how to identify the URL and then we'll come. So when you go to BSC website, let us say we give any company and let us say I give the company name SIS. Uh, okay, let's pick any of the company. Let's say we pick persistent system. And if we want to know where annual reports are, so if you go to financial and annual report, you will get annual report. Now see, till here, basically you are at BSC website, you're uh, in uh, stock share price, persistent system, and then some code and then annual report. So this is the format. And if you go for a company be like Tata Alexi, this will be replaced by Tata Alexi. But I want to know which are all the companies, you know, which are present in medical device segment. So here is the trick. If you go and these are the annual reports of persistent system, just take your mouse here and put your mouse here. The moment you put your mouse here, look down at the bottom of your website and you'll see there is a URL popping up and I'll, I'm just highlighting and showing you that URL. If you read this, this says bscindia.com slash bsc plus slash annual report and then slash something something dot pdf. If I take you another company, like let's say if I take you to Tata Steel or Tata Alexi, let's pick Tata Alexi. And again, I come to Tata Alexi. And uh, if I go to financial, if I go to annual report, you take your mouse again and you'll see the structure is same BSC India, BSC plus annual reports. And then you have that code company code. So now we know that all the annual reports are lying in this particular URL, bscindia.com slash BSC plus slash annual report. This is the common URL. If it's like a folder, think it's like a folder. If you have to search something in the folder, you will go till the folder level and then you will search and in that folder, even if there are files or subfolder, it will throw you everything. So that is what we are going to do. And next, what we will do is we will do a Google advanced search and there are multiple ways of doing it. One, you can directly go here in the Google search and type medical device and in the site name, give the same URL, which we identified which is bscindia.com, bsc plus annual report and file type annual reports. Mostly there will be PDF. So you give file type PDF. If you type this, it'll throw you all the option. The other way of doing it is uh, you just give Google advanced search. So let's say if we give, uh, we should be on Bing, let's be on Google and give Google advanced search and you will have the advanced search option open. Now click this advanced search button, which is nothing but google.co.in slash advanced search. And now this is your word. So you need this exact word or phrase. I don't know. So there are multiple options it is giving. I want to find exact medical device word. So what I will do here, I will go here and I will type. And you can see the right side is giving example. So you have to put in double quotes. So I'm giving medical device in double quotes. And the URL, I'll just, you know, take it from here. So this is the place site or domain. And I've already done this search. So I'm just putting it directly here. You are putting in BSC India, BSC plus annual report, and I want PDF files. And let's say if I give five year, 10 year of data, you will get the same company annual report again and again, duplication of work. So in terms of timeline, uh, we can give, uh, 
you know, last update we can give up to a year ago. So we know one year annual reports will be there and click this advanced search button. And now see, you are getting a list of companies here where this work medical devices have come. So like you have this company and there's nothing but polymed. And this was the company I was telling I was interested, uh, you know, uh, right now I'm not invested, but I did invest two years back. Uh, which is this company? Let's look at this company, which is talking. I know there will be a few IT companies talking about medical devices, Tata, LFC, LTTS. Uh, uh, these companies have grown really well because of uh, entering into healthcare segment. Even Tech Mahindra is talking about medical devices. Uh, some diagnostic company is talking about uh, LNTC, LTTS is talking about medical devices. So you see, you get a list of companies which are talking about medical devices. So this was, uh, you know, LTTS. So now you've got, uh, how do you search? So now you know, okay, there are two ways to play medical device. One, there is companies like Polymed who make medical devices. And second, there are companies like LTTS and, you know, uh, uh, Mahindra, uh, Tech Mahindra, uh, which does the work related to the technology side of medical devices. So once you go through all the list, you will have your list of companies available. Uh, I will tell you another intelligent way of doing it. And again, thanks to... Uh, Akash, who created this website, finsight.ai. And you need to go to this website, finsight.ai, register yourself, do the login and all. And on the left side, you will have all this menu. And I like this because this is one step ahead than what we just did on the BSC website. And I will tell you why. So go to search and in search, when you go, you will, have, you will have all these kind of documents, annual report, con call. Let's say I want to search this word medical device on annual report and con call. So you select these two and give exact phase, give medical device, give your timeline. And then you are getting 41 companies where you've got the word medical device. Now, many companies, they just might have use this word just as a jargon. So if you want to differentiate which are the companies which are really doing some work versus companies which are using jargon or maybe companies which are deeply into medical devices versus company which have just entered. So it gives not only the company name but more information which month annual report or con call document type, how many times it was found, how many pages. So if you see all these companies uh, shall be mass take one page, one page. But when you see polymedicure in con call five pages, in annual report 12 pages. So it says for polymedicure medical devices, very, very important. And this is how you can identify, you know, which are the companies which are deeply into this particular theme or less. So this was the first thing, uh, how to identify all the companies in a specific uh, theme. Now, let us say you have to research a medical device as an industry and you want to have as much as information as possible. So the simplest thing which you will do is you'll go and you will type medical devices and that's what I'm typing. And this is what I get. So a lot of pages, but let's say if I'm typing medical device PDF, when I type medical device PDF, I'm getting some more information like medical device regulation, or uh, introduction, uh, you know, so a lot of regulation. I don't see much. Okay, I found one thing. Medical devices 2030 KPMG. And, you know, I told in last video that, you know, go through these four big four websites. That's very informative. And see, it's an industry report which is telling the potential of medical devices in 2030. But what you saw, this is a good document to read, but we need more such documents. And we had only one document from KPMG. So has KPMG created only one document on medical devices? We need to find out. So we will do something interesting. We'll go to KPMG website. Now KPMG website, KPMG is present in 50 countries in 10, 20 industries, and each of them will have thousands of pages. So it's very difficult to find. So let's say how we efficiently identify all the information of medical devices on KPMG website. So let's go to KPMG website. So what I will do is I'll just type, or in fact, if we have to go to KPMG website, if you see, this is the document we are here. So one thing, when you see this, you see, it has opened HTTPS assets, KPMG content, dam KPMG PDF, and then it is there. But let us try to see how it, uh, you know, how other documents are there. So I'm typing KPMG and medical device. And uh, you can see this document is somewhere here. And this is a HTML page. 
and they talk about this and corporate strategy and whatnot. And then this is the PDF. If you see this is the URL, but when you click again at the PDF, not click, just take your mouse. Again, come down and you can see it's advisory KPMG content dam institute, uh, healthcare and life sciences PDFs. So this looks like the kind of URL we should go or the other one could be uh, directly where we got this particular document assets KPMG content dam KPMG, you know, PDF and then there is a year. So what if I make this as my URL and then I try to search the medical devices term and again we will go to, you know, advanced Google search. So again, uh, so we go to advanced search and we put medical device, we put this URL and uh, uh, let uh, the term come anywhere in the page and we put the format as PDF and we do advanced search. And uh, I just give this uh, because it wants to know if this is auto directed uh, code or not. And you see now you are getting things related to medical devices here. The term has been used, you know, uh, quality 230 here also something they're talking about medical devices direct to consumer genetic testing here they're talking about medical devices so they're talking at so many places regarding medical devices so i hope you liked the video and if you liked it do like uh, you know um, uh, the button uh, do press the like button uh, put your comments uh, and uh, help us you know to reach out to more and more people so that you know we can make more videos and i will see you soon with another one have a great